After four seasons on Party of Five, my next guest recently began a brand new show called Time of Your Life on Fox. Please welcome Jennifer Love Hewitt. Hey, thanks for the hug. I don't get a lot of those. Yeah. I'm a hugger. I like to hug. You're a hugger. You like hugging. Yes, I do. I think it's important. Yeah. <laughs> You're a good hugger. I'm a good hugger? You're a very good hugger. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. What, is there, what's the, uh, what is the science to hugging? Is there more than just, you know, uh, is there... Well, technically, you're supposed to hug heart to heart, which we did. We did. My heart is supposed to touch your heart when we hug because then it's more of a connection. Yes, and I think it's a good thing. It's Just nice. keep talking. <laughs> I have no more questions for you. <laughs> uh, no, that's nice. You've thought a lot about this. You hug a lot of people. I do. Right. I do. I think it's important. I think sometimes people are so afraid of other human beings because they're afraid they're going to get hurt or afraid to let them in or whatever, and I don't ever want to do that. So I, I hug people and I say hello. See, I think that works for you. It wouldn't work for everybody. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> If Ed Asner starts hugging everybody, you know, <laughs> gets frightening. But you, everyone would want to hug you. You're thank very you. huggable. Uh -huh. oh, now, you. let's move on. Uh, you, uh, you're doing this brand new show. Yeah, may I'm... I call you Love? Your friends you call may. you Love. That's such a cool name to have. Thanks. What is your name? I am Love. Love. <laughs> I, I am Passion. <laughs> passion and Love. Love and Passion. Uh, uh, your show, your brand new show. Yes. This is nice, shiny, brand new. It's yes. set in New York City. Yes, woo. And, uh... Sorry. <laughs> you're in L.A. Oh, right. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> I like that. You're like, yeah, it's in New York. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Sorry. I apologize. <laughs> I do like New York. I love L.A., but I do like New I York. I just love it. A celebrity that forgot for a second. That's so great. Uh, Sorry. No, that's okay. Uh, well, come with us, though, when we beat up Charles Barkley. All right. Okay, uh, now, your show, it's set in New York City. Do you, you had like a, I mean, do you like it so far? Do you like shooting on the streets and stuff like that? Is it fun? Yeah, it's amazing. New Yorkers are a little tough at times. I got hit by a cab last time I was there. What do you, what do you, that doesn't, that's not under their kind of tough sometimes. <laughs> no, I mean, not literally like thrown, but I, I was standing in a driveway. I was on my mark. We were getting ready to shoot a like scene. Like on the street in Manhattan or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah. And, and the cab driver was like, yeah, I need to go. And I was like, oh, okay. I was like, just, you know, hi, hold on one second. I just you said, I am love. You know, hi. <laughs> <laughs> it Please, work. do not anger love. <laughs> love is good and strong. So he, he like nudged me in the leg and just nudged pushed you with me what? right his cab. You can't nudge right someone with an automobile. He did. Only the mafia nudges somebody with an automobile. Thank God he wasn't going fast or I would have been hurt, but he, he literally just like threw me out of the way with the cab. Really? Yeah. And, and did, you, did you say anything to the guy? Did you get the number or anything? You just let no, him do it? No, I wasn't up to a conversation after that. I was just kind of like, you know what? Wherever you need to go, I'll be out of your way. Let me guess. You hugged him. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Okay, good. He's the one person I didn't. What is your favorite New York City moment so far? What's the favorite thing that's like you, it happened to and you're like, that's New York? This is the most classic story ever. And even New Yorkers have said that they've never had anything like this happen to them. I was at a deli at like 2 o'clock in the morning. I had wrapped from work and I re was really hungry and I wanted something to eat. And the, the waiter was just being incredible rude and meanwhile I was there this this woman came in and, and she was she was a homeless woman and she had been outside and I'd seen her when I walked in and, mm -hmm. and she was just she was she just had this like really adorable disposition about her I and mean, she was just really sort of amazing and she walked in and she wanted to buy a piece of cheesecake and the guy just looked at her and he was like you stink get out mm -hmm. like that I was like oh my god I can't believe that he just said that you know so she rude. just wanted to buy a piece of cheesecake so anyway it went on for a while and they fought for a while and so I got up and I left and as I was walking down the street I heard like this screaming and I turn around and the woman like cheek spread was urinating outside the deli and she goes well now I guess you stink buddy I loved it it was the I, and I literally I like stood there I stood there and I was like, I love New York City. Like, that would never happen anywhere else. It was brilliant. I don't think the New York City uh, Tourism Bureau is going to be <laughs> wanting that story. But Can you was... tell that story to other people? <laughs> you tell it. Hi, I'm Jennifer Love Hewitt. Anyway, I saw someone urinate on a deli. That's New York. <laughs> it's not going to happen. It was great. Well... 
I loved it. I'm so glad we're in L.A. now that you tell that story. <laughs> yeah. uh, time of your life. Congratulations. Brand new show is on Mondays at 8 o'clock on Fox. Uh, love or Jennifer? What do you prefer? Love. Oh, love. <laughs> love, uh, thank you so much for Thanks coming. For it's me. always fun talking to you. You're Good luck on the new by show. The way. Oh, so Jennifer, love you and everybody. We'll take a break and we come back. Rage against the machine. Rage against the machine.